How you doing everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. And today in this video we're going to build what I'm going to call a drag link for my large lathe, my lance lathe. And uh, we'll see how the, this all comes out. This will enable me to uh, use the uh, tailstock uh, fed by the carriage. Uh, this is projects inspired by uh, Gary Brown over at Old Iron Machine Works, and uh, I even got one of the stickers right here. Uh, get, check out Gary's channel, description in the link below, of course, and uh, subscribe to his channel. Subscribe to my channel, please. This is my Lance lathe, and this is a uh, 16 by 60 lathe. And so this, this is a 10 inch six jaw chuck on here just for reference. This is a CXA uh, tool post and this is the tail stock here. And the drag link idea is I'm going to be able to pull my tail stock with the carriage. As the carriage feeds with automatic feed, I can feed a drill bit in. Uh, dragging, dragging along the, the tail stock with the carriage. So we're going to make an attachment that will uh, tie these two together and I'm going to use a, do the tool post method. Now this, I've got this inspiration actually from a couple people, but I'm going to go with a method from Gary Brown at Old Iron Machine Works and I'll put a link to his channel and I'll find I don't know if I can find his video where he has one, but uh, the inspiration uh, for this is from, from that. Uh, so check out Gary's channel. And then uh, the other person I've seen it done a little dip different is uh, Tom Lipton. And Tom does, did it a little bit different way, and he, 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 he put a, a connection lower down in the center here on the carriage and then down here on the down at the bottom in the center of the uh, tailstock. Now I think that method uh, would definitely pull on the center line of the tailstock much better. Uh, I just don't I don't feel like doing that's a lot of work for me to do that right now. I'd have to take my tailstock off, put a hole, and and uh, and, I, and putting a hole in this is going to be a real will be a lot more work, I should say. Uh, I don't really feel like doing that right now, so I think I'm gonna try this method here with a, making what I'm gonna call a drag link, where it drags the tailstock along.
project was 100% uh, inspired by uh, Gary, Gary Brown over at Old Iron Machine Works. He's up in Rio Vista, California. And um, it's a, I don't know, I'm going to call it a lathe drag link, uh, if anything, uh, for uh, feeding your tailstock uh, with the carriage. Uh, this actually worked awesome. Now, the hole I drilled was a half inch hole. Uh, so, just so you know, it was just like, like cutting it like butter. Um, this goes into a standard tool holder. Uh, mine's a CXA. I uh, just use quarter 20 socket head cap screws here. Two of those. Uh, quarter inch washer on each end. Quarter 20. And these uh, Heim joints are off of a Sikorsky helicopter Sky Crane S64. Uh, these are control rod uh, linkages uh, on their on the ends. Uh, they were, these are worn out. Uh, this one especially is a little bit crunchy, but um, they changed them out on one of the helicopters my son works on, so he just saved all the old ones for me. Uh, so these uh, worked out really nice. I made uh, aluminum rivets out of some 3 16 aluminum rod and just cut them off and then uh, you know uh, rivet them into the holes I countersunk the hole a little bit so I have a, a flared end in there and then just sanded them down with a fiber wheel uh, so they're nice and flush and then I also polished these all up this is the centerpiece is a piece of half inch OD aluminum tubing right here and uh, then I had scrap laying around. So it's a nice lightweight drag link. I am plenty strong. Uh, this actually came out really nice. So that, pretty simple. And like I said, it just goes in your tool holder. And I put the hole like this so I can adjust it. I'll probably cut some more of this off, I think. This doesn't need to be that long. And uh, so you can adjust it in here if you uh, so desire of a position, you know, forward or back. Uh, all depends on if you had a really long uh, drill bit or something in there. Anyway, came out awesome. Uh, so let's put a washer in here. That gives you a little bit more uh, flexibility uh, with the joint. Goes in there. And then this one uh, for the other end that hooks to the uh, tailstock. That will just go in here and uh, tighten that up. So thank you, Gary. This uh, worked out just fantastic. Been wanting to do this for a long time. And uh, I really like this method. It was, it was quick and easy. Took me a couple hours to make. And that was about it. There will be a link uh, to Gary's channel in the description. You guys go over there and uh, subscribe to his channel, please. And uh, check him out. He does some fun stuff. A lot of the stuff he does at work. And, uh, but he just got a new machine at his house. He has a lot of machines, a lot of old machines. Uh, it's pretty cool. He has a, he's going to be building a shop and uh, finally have a place for his machines. So guys, we'll, uh, thank you guys. Please subscribe. Please ring that notification bell. And I'll catch you in the next one.